Just imagine, I found out that from watching TV alone, we consume about 500 GB in a month, and that's just in the evenings. We don't watch TV the whole day or something. Whew. I think I can call myself quite a bit of a massive internet user because everything we do is online. Phones, PCs, TV, laptops, tablets. <laughs> you see, in my previous apartment, the internet was directly from Safaricom, Safaricom Home Fiber, and I was paying for a 20 megabit per second package. But you guys know that when I moved into this house, the biggest bottleneck I faced is the internet speeds. Not just the speed, but also the reliability, especially across rooms. And my studio, this place, is in the farthest corner of the house. And so the Wi-Fi that was getting in here was very, very unreliable. Sometimes it just drops to, you know, one dot. Where I am right now, the internet is provided by some person. I think he buys the business package from Safaricom. Because Safaricom Home Fiber is actually in this town, but not in the exact vicinity of where I stay. So this guy pays for some package, I don't know how fast it is, how much bandwidth he pays for, then distributes it to several houses. And so what happens is that the internet speed is determined by how much people are using across the various apartments. The time of the day, like towards 8pm at night, it becomes very slow. And to top it off, the kind of gadgets he supplies definitely to make a profit are the cheapest you can get. Okay, enough with my rant and complaints, let's try and sort this out, right? So now here we have the TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi kit. It extends Wi-Fi to every room like it says. I hope it will do that. It has two wired connections on the extender. There are basically two units here. There's a WPA4220, which is this extender, and there's this, which is like the adapter. So this connects to the router, and you position this wherever you have a dark spot in terms of Wi-Fi or wherever you want the wired connection to be. So basically this will use the existing power circuitry or connections in your house to extend the internet. So let's unbox it, let's see what we get in here, then we'll be on to the connection part. So what do we get in the box? Quick installation guide, as always, I don't read those. We have an ethernet cable, it's a uh, cut 5. But anyway, the speed here is supposed to be up to 300 Mbps for Wi-Fi, so we probably won't need a cut 6 cable. So we have one cut 5 ethernet cable, another one, we'll use one to connect the adapter to the router and the other one to connect the extender to the PC in the other room. And here goes the adapter. Yeah, so this is it. This is the TP-Link AV600 kit adapter. And this is the extender. This is called the 4220, 4220 extender and the 4010. Yeah, this is the 4010. This is actually the unit that connects to your router and this is the 4220 this is the extender this is what you connect in wherever place you'd like your internet to reach we have here two rj45 lan ports there's a button here for pairing there's a slot here that you can use to reset it and there's some indicator lights so yeah the kit comes with these two units and the two ethernet cables let's get them connected now, to get this power line kit set up is quite simple. First, we connect an ethernet cable to the adapter. Plug in the adapter into a power socket. In this case, I'm just using a strip, but I'll transfer it later as recommended. And connect the adapter to your router. can see that the LED indicator lights now show that the adapter is connected and the next step will be to connect the extender to power and it will actually automatically pair with the adapter
Okay, now let's head over to the studio. That's where all the magic happens. So now our extender having already paired with the adapter just needs to be plugged into a power socket. And here now I'm trying to palpate for the ports. I'll just have to pick and see where they are. Yeah. <laughs> we now need to get the ethernet cable connected from the extender to the PC. The Wi-Fi is also working, only that I won't be using it here that much, not unless just on phone. But we have a wired connection now. And you can see here on the PC we now have two Wi-Fi networks. This juice is what is broadcast directly from the router. And you can see it only has three bars. And the TP-Link 59FA, this is actually the network that is coming out of that extender. And you can actually unify them so that we have this juice and this tp link sharing the same name and password and that will just let us you know automatically connect to whichever network is stronger uh, but still my main point here was to get the wired network which i have and you can already see here that we are connected to the ethernet public network so now the truth is the speed tests so this is the speed that we'll be getting on the Wi-Fi network. Mm -hmm. Only 1.8 megabits per second. And the upload speed. Ooh. So yeah, that is the speed. <laughs> Let's see how much we'll get on the wired network on the computer now. Run speed test. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like we'll be around, around 2 point something. Yeah, we have 2.28 megabits per second download and uh, 6.8 megabits per second upload. Yeah, you can see on Wi-Fi we only got 1.8 and 0.5 and uh, with the wired network now we have quite an improvement. I'm impressed. So let's test again and see what speed we'll get from the extender. So from the extender we're getting 2.16 megabits up and 6.91 megabits down that is good and uh, connecting directly to the router two six basically the speeds are more or less the same but now we have some wired network in here so basically using the tp-link av600 power line adapter i did not expect to you know miraculously boost the internet speed make it faster than this guy supplies but i just hoped to have some reliable internet in this part of the house this studio and from what i found out here the wired connection is a bit more reliable more stable than the wi-fi so yeah that's what i'm going with right now i hope it will enable me post videos for you guys so guys hit that big old red subscribe button down below and tell me in the comments if you think that there is any other solution that i could implement in here to sort this internet issue i'd be very very happy by the way i heard that elon musk will be dropping that starlink connection in kenya one of these fine days i don't know how long it will take which year but maybe that is one of the things we need in here that is it for today i hope you guys liked it if so hit the like button till the next time i'll see you in the next one as always no pressure